drought. As you mentioned, California's droughts uh, continues. A stunning new report now shows just how damaging it is across the West. 63 trillion gallons of water gone. That's enough to cover land from the Rockies to the Pacific with four inches of water. CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York. Professor, good morning to you. Morning. Uh, the thousand day mark we're now closing in. Is, is this the new normal? This is historic. Uh, if you look at tree rings and lake sediments, you realize that you have to go back perhaps centuries, centuries to find a drought of this kind of magnitude. And we begin to realize that historically there have been droughts that have lasted decades, even centuries in the history of California. So yeah, some people are saying this could be a mega drought. This could be a new normal. What does this mega drought mean for the rest of our Earth? It's causing rising levels, right? Yeah, believe it or not, California is rising, physically yeah. rising. Yeah. Uh, the mountains of California have risen about a half an inch just in the last two years. Because of all the loss of water, and we have all these GPS sensors, we can actually measure the fact that the loss of water is causing the Earth to spring back about a half an inch under the mountains of California. That's how punishing this drought is. What I thought was so interesting about this research is that it was 11 years, but you also didn't set out to look at this. You were looking at the GPS monitoring of basically earthquakes, how the earth was shifting, and you realized this drought was happening. But how does what's happening in the West affect the rest of us? Well, you realize that about 34% of the country is experiencing some form of drought, which is ironic because in the Northeast, we've had flooding. And so we've had this wacky weather. We've had this wacky summer where we had unusual cold weather in the North. Yeah. Just go outside and you I can know. see that. Yeah. Yeah. And drought and blistering temperatures in the west. Now, the good news is El Nino is setting in, which means that California could get some rainfall, could get some relief from El Nino. But, but the bad news is this could be a new normal. Professor, I thought, though, that after this punishing winter with all the snow that we had, I'm talking about in the northeast, everyone said it's going to be a super, super hot summer, and then it's actually been cool. What happened? Well, El Nino happened, and it's unpredictable. El Nino comes and goes every four to five years. It's, it's, it's rather unpredictable, and it really changes the entire global climate. And so it's one thing that is like a wild card. Plus, we've had the fact that there have been periodic droughts that hit California. When you start to go back decades now, decades into the past, you see that at one point in the history of California, droughts were normal. In fact, some people say that what is abnormal is the recent uh, plentiful amount of water in the last oh. several centuries, right. that we are benefiting from an abnormal situation. Mm -hmm. Sounds like this could make up a whole class. <laughs> <laughs>